Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Lunak whose current price stands at the 0.0002371 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 2.82% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out any key chart pattern that you have information on this chart and now kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the Lunak chart from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side which has been obeying this Elliott wave structure that I have right here having a wave 5 taking us back to around the 0.00059 dollar mark and having seen that movement to the upper side obeying this Elliott wave structure we can name that fractal wave as a higher Elliott wave count 1 and after seeing the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 1 Whatever we expect next is the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 2 which is a corrective wave and we expect it to give us a new low over here making our low for that second wave at around the 0.000018 dollar mark and after making the low for that second wave whatever we expect to, uh, to happen is the formation of a third wave to the upper side and I believe that is what is playing out so after the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 2 we expect the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 3 and because a higher Elliott wave count 3 is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation like what we have seen here in the formation of a first wave to the upper side and I believe that is what is playing out here on the Lunak chart after making this low down here we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side managing to break above key areas of resistances making our high at around the 0.00037 dollar mark and that movement to the upper side I can term it as an any wave structure having that as the first wave to the upper side then we saw a very nice retracement to the door side in the formation of a wave 2 then I expect a wave 3, a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete a higher Elliott wave count 1 which is a fractal wave within this higher Elliott wave count 3 and if I get a little bit into the details of the formation of this fractal wave so that it can give us the key scenarios that we expect to play out before I also get into the key chart patterns that we have information right here after making the high for that first wave we saw a very nice uh, retracement to the door side in the formation of a wave 2 right here managing to lose key areas of support and using the Fibonacci using the Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the wave 1 to the high of that first wave we can get a minimum target area to the door side in the formation of that second wave between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that then removing the Fibonacci you can see that Lunak has retraced into that target area we came down into that target area and some at some point right here we managed to lose that target area to the door side also lost a key area of support at around the 0.00024 dollar mark and after losing that key area of support we have continued seeing no prices and in that movement we need to use the Fibonacci once more to get to see whether this wave 2 is still a valid wave 2 because if it loses the fib level 0.78 fib level then that might not be a valid wave 2 anymore and the fib level 0.78 86 fib level lies at the 0.00022 dollar mark so we, this wave 2 that we are seeing over here is still a valid wave 2 and the moment we lose that key area on the Fibonacci then we might start viewing this movement to the door side as something else and the only way we can view that as is just a massive ABC corrective movement that is have this massive movement as an ABC corrective movement and that I will term it as a higher Elliott wave count 2 and in case that is the case and we make a new low below the low that we have at around the 0.00018 dollar mark then I will have to view this movement to the door side as a higher Elliott wave count 2 then start sketching out movements to the upper side in the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 3 and getting back to the formation of this Elliott wave structure that I have right here assuming that Lunak will not invalidate that movement to the door side to the upper side in this Elliott wave structure that I have right here I can sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that third wave using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the wave 1 to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of that wave 2 and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at the fib level 0. Point, at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0. 0.00053 dollar mark then we can expect a retracement in a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete that higher edit wave count 1 to the upper side and getting to the key chart patterns that we have information right here 
within this withdrew that you are seeing over here we have seen the formation of a triangle having this trend line here in red as the upper side of the triangle then i have this horizontal line as the baseline of that triangle and we have seen a breakout out of this triangle to the lower side lost a key area of support and using a trend line we can get the height of that triangle so that can give us a minimum target area to the lower side out of that triangle that we are seeing over here and that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 0.00016 dollar mark and in case we continue seeing no prices there's a possibility that we might get to that point before we start seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side and in case that plays out i'll name that movement to the lower side as a higher edge to wave count to then expect a very nice bounce to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 and right here after losing the key area of support at around the 0.000024 dollar mark we have seen another chart pattern which is also a triangle which is right here highlighted in blue having this as the upper side of the triangle then we have this base uh, trend line as the baseline of that triangle and we saw a breakout out of that triangle to the upper side and the target area still remains to be the height of the triangle so using a trend line once more we can get that height and then place it over here and that gives me a minimum target area back to within this uh, support zone that i have right here and you can see we saw that breakout into this support line that we have down here that is that key area of resistance then we have seen another massive pull back to the lower side and within this movement also we have seen uh, the formation of a channel we are trading within a channel and if i draw it out we can have this as the upper side of the channel like that then you can see the baseline of the channel down here and this forms an ascending channel and you can see that the channel has been well respected and we touched the lower side of the channel and now we are seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side and right now we are trading within this key area of, of resistance that is that support zone uh, resistance zone and there's a possibility that lunac might continue pushing higher in case we continue seeing an increase in volume in the lunac chart and also on the whole crypto market and once that plays out there's a possibility that we might be able to break out of the channel to the upper side and also manage to break above that key area of resistance have a retest of that key area of resistance and continue pushing higher and in case that plays out i would expect us back above the 0.00025 dollar mark so there is a possibility that lunac might be seeing a very nice breakout very soon and zooming in back to this chart so that i can also give you a target area for that higher edge to wave count 3 assuming that the low was in at around the 0.00018 dollar mark we can use a trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the wave 1 to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of that second wave then i have my target area to the upper side in the formation of a higher edge to wave count three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.001 dollar mark so in case that plays out luna could be losing one zero so let's be patient and see how that plays out also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements we can be supported here on the one hour rsi here on the one hour rsi we are trading at around the 71 mark meaning we are just about into to get into the overbought region and that would mean maybe we might see a bit of a corrective movement over here so that we can create room for us to continue pushing higher on the one hour mark we have printed a bullish cross and that means higher prices could be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated